like it. They're ready. We're ready. But in the meantime, in between time, we'll go to the NFL. Let's talk about Peyton Manning. There is more and more talk that Peyton Manning should take a pay cut. Uh, if he is on the roster as of March 9th, he will be fully guaranteed $19 million. That's his base salary for 2015. If he did take a pay cut, it would be easier for the Broncos to re-sign free agent Demarius Thomas and Julius Thomas, uh, perhaps giving them better chances at a Super Bowl one. So here's the question. We discussed it earlier for oh, just a moment off the top of the show. Do you believe that Peyton Manning should take a pay cut? Skip Bayless. Yeah, before I answer that, I didn't get to formally thank my friend Stephen ah. for, for braving iced over roads from D.C. to true. Chapel Hill to get here. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. You and I go back and forth about this concept. This is just me. This is my two cents about Peyton's $19 million that he will make if he's on that roster starting March 9th. Okay. Or Kobe's. What, will you always tell me how much it, what is it, 22, 25? 20. 25? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bless you. Thank See, you. It's, it's cold here, man. It is. <laughs> yeah. And we hope you're healthy. It's all right. All I'm right. good. I'm good. All right. Just a little sneeze. If, if, I, were, if I were Kobe yeah. or I were Peyton Manning and I were entering into what probably will be my final year, Peyton at age 39, and I was scheduled to make 19 million when I'm in every other commercial that we see on television. God knows how much he makes off the field on top of the 19 million. Now you say you're a capitalist and that you just get what you're worth, and, and he's certainly worth 19 million. But if I were Peyton Manning, honestly, from my heart, I would say I want to play for free next year. Now they would force me to take the NFL minimum. They would uh, I don't know what the you know they'd force me to take the minimum and then I could play for incentives which wouldn't count against okay. my salary cap. Right. But if I am in danger of losing Demarius Thomas and Julius Thomas and my offensive line did not protect me very well last year and it needs some holes plugged then why wouldn't I say John Elway I'm going to let you enter into the free agent market with fistfuls of my dollars. I'll take less money. I'll take minimum money with incentives so that you can maximize my chances of winning a ring in my final year. It just makes all the sense in the world unless you're Stephen A. Smith. Then I don't get it. You, you, free. You are, yeah. abso free. you are absolutely right. That makes no sense to me whatsoever mm -hmm. when you're talking about somebody playing a violent sport like mm -hmm. football for free. Uh -huh. I am a proud capitalist. Mm -hmm. I am about my dollars, and I totally support this man going for his. However, I will acknowledge to you, I agree with some of what you said. I wouldn't go so far as to say free. I wouldn't go so far as to say the minimum, but should Peyton Manning take a pay cut? Absolutely he should. Yeah. Now, let's explain the difference between Peyton Manning and Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant, five rings. Peyton Manning, one. Oh. Number one. Number two, Kobe Bryant, Jim Buss, Peyton Manning, John Elway. Yep. Jim Buss coming to me telling me he wants me to take a pay cut, okay? It's like somebody coming to me asking me to pay their bills. We're going to have a problem. You understand? Because the, the, the fact is, is that when you look at Jim Buss, he has no plan. He has, no, he has nothing that he has proven he can execute. So it makes sense to me why Kobe would sit there and say, bump that. I'm not doing this. What plan are you showing me that should convince me to take a pay cut? Particularly when this window of opportunity for me to make this money is literally near its end. In the case of Peyton Manning, I have John Elway to look at. John Elway, okay, got me Demarius Thomas, got me Julius Thomas, got me Emmanuel Sanders instead of Eric Decker, got me Wes Welker, got, had, had, had no Sean Moreno, had Monty Ball, then went out and got C.J. Anderson for me. Offensive line was putrid last year, particularly when Clady went down. Mm. This year it was better, although it wasn't elite, it was better. I don't Go know to the offseason. Going yeah. to the offseason, they were a little better. Going yeah. to offseason, Demarcus Ware, TJ Ward, Akeem mm -hmm. Tlaib. So what I'm saying is, is that even though it didn't pan out, a legitimate argument could be made. It would have had Peyton come to play. From the moment he got beat up against St. Louis, he never appeared to be the same. They ran the ball significantly more over the last several weeks than they had prior to him getting beat up 22 to 7 at St. Louis, okay, near the near the uh, you know, the latter part of the season. So I'm looking at it from the perspective that 
if John Elway is sitting up there on his perch, he's saying, I gave you some personnel. Mm. I made some decisions. I put you in a position to win a Super Bowl championship, but you got that quad injury. You got hurt. You weren't yourself. So to me, John Elway coming up to Peyton Manning and wanting him to take a pay cut makes sense because if you're Peyton Manning, you can't deny that this dude went out and did a lot for you to buffer that roster so you could legitimately contend for a Super Bowl championship. That is the difference between Kobe and Peyton mm -hmm. Manning. Kobe can't say that. Peyton Manning can. So in light of that reality, Peyton Manning, with all the money that he has made, not even including the mm -hmm. commercials, if somebody sits there and says to you, look, I got to take care of the Thomases. I got to buffer this offensive line. Yep. I know you were going to get about 20 mil. How about 10? Mm. He should do that. He should do that. He should do that. Yes, I, I agree. So you're saying in Kobe's situation, Kobe can't trust Jim Buss to, 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 right to spend the money that yeah. Kobe would give back. Is I, that have, what you're saying? I have only said that about yeah. 10,000 okay. times. Okay, well, Jim because yeah. Jim Buss. We're, we're did, reiterating did, 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 for our, that's right. our I'm fans. Not, I'm just yeah. letting you know. I'm not messing yeah. with you. I'm just yeah. saying. I want to make it very, very clear. Mm -hmm. I've been saying this about Jim Buss for years. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to remind you that in San Antonio, Tim Duncan, who made the All-Star team and was the best spur through the first half of the season, for what that's worth, is making a mere $10 million when you could argue he's still worth $25 million. He is still the driving force of the basketball team that I still think is going to win the NBA championship. Okay? I just don't want people getting into this habit where you look at players who have this short window of opportunity to maximize their potential, mm -hmm. okay, and you're messing with their dollars, quote unquote, for the best interest of the team. Excuse me, the team has to have an upper echelon, uh, you know, a hierarchy yep. that knows how to handle their business. When we sit here and talking to these young whippersnappers up in here trying mm -hmm. to teach them a thing or two, yep. let's make sure we make them understand. You make these sacrifices, it needs to be for a reason. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not doing it for an, a, a, an adroit reason, a wise reason, mm -hmm. then you're just throwing away money. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you spend your money wisely. So if spending your money, because taking a pay cut is a, a roundabout way of spending your money, it needs to be for a pretty damn good reason. Mm -hmm. And I would say to you that if you have an organization like the San Antonio mm -hmm. Spurs who know what they're doing, then it justifies Tim Duncan mm -hmm. taking a pay cut. If you have an organization that's run by Jim Buss, it does not. Okay. It is that simple. And Peyton Manning in Denver, it's comparable to San Antonio, not in terms of championships, but in terms of a visionary, somebody who's been there, mm -hmm. who's done it, who appears to know what he's doing. John Elway has the cachet, the credentials, the credibility mm -hmm. to sit there and say to Peyton Manning, I need you to curb some of this course for me so I can do X, Y, and Z because he has shown that he knows what he's doing. Okay, there is still this guy named Mitch Kupchak who's the GM of the Lakers. Yes. And you can't, thank you. I, I, I thought I would bring him up. Because I think he has a Carolina yeah, tie. He does have a connection. Yes, I think he does. Yeah. So yeah. you you discount the abilities of Mitch Kupchak because of Jim Buss, because you're saying Jim Buss is the only decision maker. When I think he gets some input, I think he listens. He gets, he gets input from Mitch Kupchak. Mm -hmm. But how can I say this respectfully? Because I'm, I, I am a fan of Mitch Kupchak. I think he's a very good general manager. He knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He garners the respect. But there is a reason that Irvin Magic Johnson that himself came mm -hmm. on our show and talked about Jim Buss needing to be moved out of the way and Jeannie Buss needing to hand the reins to Mitch Kupchak. That implies what I will say directly. Jim Buss is in Mitch Kupchak's way. Now, Mitch Kupchak obviously loves Los Angeles, loves La La, yeah. doesn't want to leave, loves his job and all of that stuff. And he ain't trying to get booted out the door. So it's one of those situations where he has successfully gone about the business of ingratiating himself with Jim Buss. But in the end, what it comes down to is that it is Jim Buss and his ego reigning over mm -hmm. Laker Nation. That is a problem. I cannot judge the job that Mitch Kupchak has or has not done as long as Jim Buss is around. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so to sum this up, if Peyton Manning announced this afternoon, I will take a $10 million pay cut to play next year. You should Denver. be happy about that. And, and it, would he not be an even bigger hero than he is right now he to Bronco be. fans? Well, 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 no, that's, he wouldn't be. I think he would Let be. Let me tell you why he wouldn't be. Because Tom Brady has four rings. 
you have won. Mm -hmm. So, so now if Tom, you, out, Tom you, Brady keeps taking, he, he's not taking pay cuts, but Tom keeps no, shifting no, money back into in. the future. No, what I'm yeah. saying is, is that when you talk about hero, mm -hmm. you talk about somebody being celebrated. You might give Peyton Manning a round of applause. Mm -hmm. You ain't throwing no parade for that brother until he wins a okay. champion, another Super Bowl and, championship, and, and, which he has not this, done. I'm going to make the same contention. If two years ago, when Jim Buss came to Kobe and said, here, I want to give you this much money for the next two years, if Kobe had said, no, I'll take half of that, I'm going to maximize our chances, I think Kobe would have also been a hero, even more of a hero to those in Los Angeles. I got Angeles. news to you. You need to go to the Laker game. He's still a hero. People well, I love Kobe Bryant. Yeah. I mean, he, Do they love he has, the team? Has, well, of course they don't love the team. But no. again, that ain't Kobe's fault because mm -hmm. a legitimate argument could be made that the man running the Lakers organization make decisions. makes decisions based on his yeah. ego and his emotion as mm -hmm. opposed to what is best for Laker Nation. Mm -hmm. That is the problem. I am not accusing Jim Buss of not knowing what he's doing. It's worse than that. He knows. He just mm -hmm. didn't care as much as he cares mm -hmm. about his ego. Yep. The question? Gentlemen, should Peyton Manning take a pay cut? Yes. Both agree he should. Amounts obviously differ between Skip and Stephen A. There was question about whether or not he wanted to return. Obviously, the latest is that he does, but at what price? We leave it there, and we come about. We talk about this because you mentioned this earlier. You guys are always giving away RTs, but that's okay. Is Des Bryant going to be able to play with the Cowboys? I mean, that's a big question. Will they be able to sign him? Folks at home, help us out. Do you know? We'll talk about it right after the break. Live from Chapel Hill, we appreciate it. Thank you.